polite to point, my friend, but it is true. <laughs> and it's a vagina. Oh boy, it's a warm day, there's a heat wave going on, we're gonna talk about mud fossils, we're gonna talk about dragons, we're gonna talk about giant vaginas. Oh no, no! Ah! <laughs> Things are gonna heat up, right Roger? Okay, it's Roger Mud Fossil University, kinda excited. Alright, let me stop you right there. Calm down, buddy. We are not about to get sucked into your, uh, weird fetish, so, um, alright? I run a family-friendly show here, so fuck that. Inside this cave, we will be able to see the actual anatomy of these giant creatures and i have the giants i've had them dna certified and and there's no question they are what they are and they are giant human beings about that dna certified i've seen many comments in your comment section asking for your peer-reviewed evidence and you just answer it you just gotta believe or something along those lines getting rather defensive when people are just asking questions or asking for sources and of course citations you merely have fancy looking documents on your website which anyone can make but they are not verified in any way, shape, or form. And there are giant creatures of many different types, I'm sure, sure. Yes, and I have seen what triggers your certainty there. Merely looking at imagery of certain mountains or statues or even landscapes, or rather satellite images, and suddenly seeing something in there. That's called pareidolia, and you have the worst kind. I specialize in the human type. And since when are giants humans? Don't you mean humanoid? And as far as I can tell, a dragon is not a humanoid. It's a, it's a dragon type. And I, I have, I understand the anatomy. I understand the concentrations of elements where they concentrate and so forth. Yes, Roger. But what does it all mean? Here he is in in what, uh, two sections in this cave. Apparently, he's coming up to. A vagina, I mean, it's what it is. Huh, well, I've heard of the term love cave, but I've never seen someone take that literally. It's just a cave, buddy. And there is also the anuses right there, too. Well, shit. And contrary to popular belief, I don't do puns. And there's other anatomy that's right there that we're going to look at, and Greg's friend the friend his friends that discovered this cave cave huh what's the matter did you misspoke a few seconds ago there was a vagina with an anus and now it's a cave so what's going on there roger the video they sent has the same characteristics and the same flashy looking stuff so look watch this now here it goes roman don't forget aqua ah, look at that oh what is that stuff again now that is the exact same stuff that is coming out of the cave that Greg will be exploring. I'm, um, Roger, I'm confused here. What cave is he gonna explore? The cave or the, you know, cave, air quotes? Because I can tell you right now, that stuff doesn't come out of the cave, air quotes. We want to get samples of it. What is it? What is it? Because, I, I mean, I, I, it's coming, this is the vagina. Now, I may be handsome and good at the sex, but I heard from the wife of another guy who's fairly handsome and decent at the sex, and I'll tell you right now, both of us can assure you, Roger, that, my friend, is no vagina. They mean the other way round. Um, don't pay attention to that guy. Now, it's coming out of here. Why is it coming out of here? Oh, I don't know, Roger. Why don't you go in and stroll down vagina corridor to knock on the door of the uterus? You know, maybe the denizens of uh, the uterus can tell you a little story about the birds and the bees. Is, is, is it pyrite? Well, I... <laughs> yes, Roger. Of course it is. And don't worry about the uh, little thing called, uh, you know, the thing that the human body doesn't produce. But uh, anyway, <laughs> go on. Is it some other kind of flashy metal and because i looked up what kind of discharges come out of the va vaginal discharges and things and I, I can't really they don't go into the molecular makeup of it they talk about proteins and this and that but not uh-huh and clearly pyrite is on the list and did you just say fleshy metal what the f yeah that's about right enough to give me chemistry here so we're gonna get our own chemistry here so here goes <laughs> you're gonna get your own chemistry is that some kind of uh, i'm gonna make up my own shit because roger it really sounds like you're making up your own shit with the emphasis on shit i don't know if you say it like that it sounds funnier that's some funny shit right there no it doesn't work like that ah uh, okay uh, roger what what are you saying he's he's kind of shocked saying wow look at this and he's i am too <laughs> Yeah, but I guess Mr. Video Man is uh, more shocked at something else. Where well, you are shocked at seeing a vagina in a cave, he is probably thinking, oh, maybe that's gold, eh? Is it gold? Eh? 
I would think there'd have been bats in here, but maybe kids killed them. That's pretty. Look at that. No, it's not polite to point, my friend, but it is true. Well, is there something like um, pareidolia when you hear things as well as only visual things? I mean, he said maybe it's gold, and then he points at it, and you're offended because in your mind it's a vagina, and he's pointing at uh, giant's lady parts right now. What? What in the holy hell are you doing, Roger? And it's a vagina. Now, and that is the anus, and this little flap is what they call a vestibule. Go ahead, look it up. I mean, I'm pretty good with vaginas, and that's it. You're, 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 <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so, Roger, you are really good with vaginas, and then you see a cave and see a vagina. I mean, seriously, Roger, what the, f I, oh, I, I have no words for this. Carry on, Roger. Oh, cool. look at they hang out here, these mosquitoes. mosquitoes. I mean, that's what they do. Those stalactites. Oh no, she has bugs up her ass. <laughs> that is not a pooper. And that could be an anal fistula. Well, 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 Roger. You're quickly becoming the butt of the joke here. The, the, I mean, we're, do, we're in anatomy 100% here, so... Well, I would say phrasing, but in this case, this is so goddamn ridiculous, it's not even funny. Well, it kinda is. Well, I stand corrected. I just corrected myself. This is goddamn funny, Roger. Where normal people look up porn on the internet, this man goes on the internet and looks at caves. Now, now I'm actually left wondering, what does he think of stalactites and stalagmites? <laughs> Oi, Roger, hands where I can see him. That's... I'm kind of excited. I'm having a hard time. No, 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 you don't, Roger. No, you don't. You will calm down right now. Put my words together here because I'm just, I'm just excited about this. I told you at the beginning of this video, we're not going to get sucked in, into your fat ass show. No, you're, you're going to calm down right now, Roger. This is the first ever this was done. It's the first ever. Somebody's gone in and, and taken this as a little literal internal you know, at some point you have to wonder, does this man have to talk to a gynecologist to actually explain to him what he is seeing? And on the other side of that conversation, did I, did I don't want to subject a gynecologist to that. I mean, I have the utmost respect for those people. They're looking down all kinds of holes. They don't need to look down a rabbit hole. Pretty sure they don't need that in their lives. Autopsy. Go in, he's going to go in, he's going to say, look at this, and look at this, and he's going to take samples of this, and samples of that, and you know. Well, I'll tell you what, you had me at... That's the most sense you've made this entire video. Can we move on to dragons now? Hey, you know what else? You know what else? You're... You're... A girl dragon! Well, good job there, Roger. You completely ruined that movie for me. Cursed is lung tissue. All of these holes and cavities. Did you just say lung tissue? Those are just stones. And in this case, the holes are probably made by sea creatures burrowing into them. But there's also pebbles that have holes in them caused by natural processes such as, you know, decaying, weathering and erosion. Not to mention there are also rocks which are not pure with minerals in them and the minerals decay faster than the bloody rocks around them. So, you know, you got <coughs> holes in the rock. I almost ran out of breath there, which is ironic because you're talking about lungs. This is limestone. This is porphyritic limestone. Porphyritic means inclusions in carbonates, the CaCO3. It's exactly what it is. Did you, did you just debunk yourself? So it's not lung tissue. No, is it? What would have gigantic lungs like that? Well, maybe a gigantic dragon or some gigantic giant that was on Earth, which I have DNA. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's gonna do the pareidolia effect on the planet again. Oh, where's the dragon there, Mr. Roger? Certified results that they existed, and so did dragons. Yes, that's all fine and dandy there. The only problem is, when we ask you for sources of your <laughs> certification, uh, where are they? Why won't you give them up? Why are you so defensive about that? That's a huge red flag there. But who am I kidding? You're talking out of your giant butt. And no, we don't have any, any evidence for dragons existing. You, you really are one of those people who just says things, aren't you? How about, oh, I don't know, backing up your claims? Oh, who am I kidding? Hey, uh, let's see the dragon, Roger. All written about in history. Yes, all talked about in history by people who have no idea what they're seeing. Basically, the same as you. Our only problem is, they literally didn't have any idea what they were seeing, so they were living in mythology. You are, well, basically outdated by centuries. Here's a hint, stop being so damn archaic. 
And I haven't just been talking about this a little bit. I've been talking about this a lot. Oh, well, excuse me. That means absolutely nothing. You are one of those people who just says things, right? And you actually believe that if you say it enough, it becomes true. Reality doesn't care about how many times you say things. Oh, and contrary to popular belief, I don't like to repeat myself or see the mantra of repetition in action. That is a dragon right there. And that is his dead decaying flesh. Did you just poke your monitor? Don't ever uh, do that again, Roger. What the hell are you doing? You're breaking your monitor. Also, there's no dragon there. Your pareidolia sucks. That is decomposing in the desert. This is his throat. That's the flashy stuff. They know about these things in China and places like that. So, did you go there? Did you test it? Did you prove it? No, you're just saying things because you see things in patterns. Hey, look at this. Turns out my dinosaur looks spiffier than your, uh, dragon. With the difference being, I don't actually believe it's a dinosaur. I just see a pattern and you went down the rabbit hole and hit the bottom. How hard did you hit your head on the bottom of the... Oh, good God, man, I'm running out of breath here. This is his throat that runs all the way down to his stomach. Right, because... Uh, reasons. You don't even know what pareidolia is, right? I mean, I, I guess you see patterns in clouds as well and you think the cloud fairies are real. This is so pathetic, you actually have a bloody channel dedicated to this. It's pareidolia, mate. Pareidolia. Are you, are you just joking around here? Because this is, this is goddamn ridiculous. And these are the plates. I don't think he's joking around. Ah, of course he's not joking around. He's got a dedicated channel to pareidolia and he doesn't even know what pareidolia is. I mean, look, there's even a fish thing up there. He's not even good at pareidolia. This really reminds me of completely outclassing edgewise. Well, uh, <laughs> it's pareidolia. I am better at this than you. And I'm not sure if I should be proud of that. Dragon scales, and they are in little packets so that he can twist and bend. And of course, his neck just keeps going and going until somebody cut it with a giant great and mighty sword right there. What the? I mean, why are you doing that to your monitor? I hope your monitor breaks, buddy. Well, actually, I don't. I feel sorry for the monitor. Someone save his monitor. He's not allowed near a monitor anymore. And he bled out in the desert. All right, buddy. Try that one more time. I dare ya. I double dare ya. Try that one more freaking time. Just as was said in the Bible. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Who the hell cares what your fancy little book says? If it even said that. Because I've come to notice you people like to cherry pick or misrepresent the Bible. Not that it matters in any which way. So all you... You academics that hate God... Ugh, get in this century already with your fancy little stories about a fancy man on a fancy cloud doing fancy stuff, do a fancy planet with a fancy idea, huh? At some point you have to grow up and leave childish things behind. Hating something for which there is no evidence at all. What makes you think we hate your, uh, imaginary friend there, huh? Stop playing the victim already. This is the exact point where the conversation always ends, because you are offended because we, uh, well, f uh, insult your superhero. I'm sorry, I don't have any respect for religion. I only have respect for people. And if you want to believe in a fancy story, go right ahead. But I respect you too much to actually believe you believe it. And love... concocted stories. Whoa, that, but that's all you do! I want some answers. We all want answers. We deserve this. We are people of the world. Yes, and by making up shit, uh, you actually get your answers, because, you know, when you make up shit, you can go any which way you want, which does remind me of a certain book, if you know what I mean. That deserve truth. You are the people that are, tr are crushing truth. Huh? Wait. You deserve the truth? And we are the people of the world who are crushing truth? What does that mean? That's one of... That, that, that's that's a really strange contradiction there. We're crushing truth, but we want the truth. So, I, I, Roger, what are you doing? You silly man, you. That's a dragon. That is a giant fish. Well, what can I say, Roger? You forced my hand here. Also, <laughs> that's not a dragon, it's just a desert. It does not matter how many times you say it, you're gonna get punched in the face by a face palm projectile in a few minutes. Or seconds. I don't know. I don't care. We're gonna find out in a few.
That dragon was attacking that giant fish. This is also written in the ancient texts. Oh, I'm sure there was a dragon attacking some fish at some time in some story, but stop touching your monitor! And how the hell do you see a fish in there? My fish was way spiffier! Again, I outclass your pareidolia! And that giant dragon attacked that fish with power, and that power was venom. Hey, McFly, you bojo! <laughs> Don't burst all water! Unless you've got power! <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite, you bojo! It combusted or whatever it does in, in the chemical world when it hit there. That is exactly the identical same thing that you find in the most noxious snake venoms. You know, sometimes I really wonder, what's it like in the mind of a person like this? Just making up shit as you go along, while you're seeing patterns. I, I, they must scare themselves a lot by looking at things that absolutely have no meaning. And then it came down here and hit that fish's back right there and ate into its vital flesh. Out of all the dragon stories I've heard, I've yet to come across one that actually spits venom. They usually spit fire, so what gives? Are you just now making up shit while you're making up shit? That's making up shitception. I, I, I don't, I don't, can we flush this shit? You all have Google Earth, just go up and look at it. And then this whole area collapsed because it was an ocean and it drained out through here. And you you base this on what? Because you think it happened like that? You really have to, you know, research the... Uh, research? You don't know what the word research means. You don't know what the word pareidolia means. You don't know what words mean, do you? How anybody could miss this and the geologists have missed this. Yes, how anybody could have missed this. We're not all batshit crazy like you, seeing things and things that are not there. Now I'm kind of curious, what happens if you look into a mirror? You're just standing there, staring at yourself, and it's staring right back. And that's when the attack comes. Not from the front, but from, you know, imagination. Totally missed it. They say, oh, it's ca caved in out here somewhere. One of these days, someone's gonna punch you for punching your monitor. Stop punching your monitor like that. Those things are not a design. You don't know how technology. This man doesn't know. He just doesn't know. What is this? It's a coastline. It's a coastline. It is. <laughs> he doesn't know what a coastline is. And how did they miss this? Which happens to be Atlantis. Well, first of all, they didn't miss it. They actually documented it. But second of all, they haven't found any indication that that is Atlantis. Now you're just saying things again. We're just going round and round in circles, which is quite ironic when we're looking at a circle in the Sahara Desert. But hey, let me guess, you don't know what the word irony means either. You keep using words. I don't think you know what words mean. Exactly what Plato says. Herodotus even puts it on this map. Right there, it says Atlantis on Herodotus' map. Not only that, the boat slips are still here, where they were coming in here. These were all their docks. Why? Because your distorted mind sees patterns in things that are not there? Oh my god. Okay, Google, what does pareidolia mean? According to life science, pareidolia is a type of apophenia, which is a more generalized term for seeing patterns in random data. Some common examples are seeing a likeness of Jesus in the clouds or an image of a man on the surface of the moon. Or in your case there, buddy. Dragons in sand or fish in sand. And you don't even see the correct ones. I see better patterns. Thank you, Google. That makes me so happy. And those are all the channels coming in. And I think there's still boats in the slips. I keep showing this. Nobody seems to pay any attention. They don't really care. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because you don't substantiate anything you say. You just say, I have evidence, but you don't substantiate it. Evidence has to be supported by something. Contrary to popular belief, just saying things doesn't do anything. You know, none of the scholars care. These are all the little boat slips. Oh, hey, look at that. Rajiko has arrived. Let's have a look at her patterns. Maybe we can actually see a shape in there. I can clearly see the shape of a cow. Uh. We're all joking aside. Let's get real serious here. Look at the shape on the middle of her torso. It kind of looks like a nose with a mouth beneath it, right? A side view of a face, if you will. Hey, thanks there, Rajiko. Uh. These are all the channels coming into them. That's not just an accident. What do you mean it, it's not an accident? It's just a natural process of... Uh, <laughs> why is it not an accident? I mean, let's go, let, let's go back. You said it was a dragon attacking a fish. That sounds like an accident to me. And uh, <laughs> using your <clears throat> logic, it would be classified as the result of a fight between a giant fish and a dragon, accidentally causing these ducks at Atlantis. Oh boy, what am I doing? What are you doing? That's the better question to ask here. 
This was, and the straits is over here. Atlantis is the size that they said. Here's the straits that was in front of it that collapsed. So this is not just nonsense. Wow, really? Really? The stuff that geologists are saying, absolute total nonsense. Oh boy, I was waiting on the projection. Good projection there. I rated five out of seven. Would listen again. Explain this to me. How did this happen? Well, what's this giant dragon and this giant fish and all the things that I've shown? Well, explaining it to you would be like explaining how a computer works to an amoeba. And that's not a dragon or a fish, it's the desert, it's patterns, they, they, they don't mean anything. What are you doing? Why are you doing? Oh, stop it, delete your channel. You're making an utter fool of yourself with your utter horseshit. Oh no, wait, don't delete your channel. We need sillies like you. I mean, you like to point at your monitor, I like to point at you. Giant vaginas? <laughs> well, that came out of left field, didn't it? I, I knew you were talking about giant vaginas, but holy hell, mate. They don't know, they, they, they don't know their cars from the hole in the ground. Oh boy, I was waiting for the moment you were actually saying something I couldn't understand. Good job. What the hell did you just say? You just made less sense than the gibberish by Dell. And I, I can understand Dell most of the times. And there should be no reason. <laughs> I know, right, Dell? Wait, I just understood you, so you know, there, there goes your point. Fuck it. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Del. Why don't you go outside your rage shack and point at things? And they have no idea about vaginas. <laughs> yeah, I do apologize that, Del. I found someone who's sillier than a flat earther. This guy thinks caves are vaginas of giants. You know, put things in perspective. I mean, come on. Yeah, well, that's about enough out of you two. Ooh, I love that sound. And with that, I shall sentence you to be a jester in the Order of the Sillies. I do hope you enjoy your stay, but keep your fetish outside the castle. We don't take kindly to that kind of shit around here. Please make sure to tickle all the bells and buttons around this video. And definitely have a look at the spiffiest of the spiffiest, my Patreon and YouTube members of the Order of the Unhallowed. And be sure to thank my moderators in the chat. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> That was kind of funny, Dell actually getting scared. I it wasn't targeted at Dell though. Maybe next time I need to fire at Dell as well. And that was an unintentional rhyme again.